All right. I think we are live. At least we should be. It says we're live. <laughs> oh, there we are. We're live. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Dr. Jen. Good morning. Donnie joined us this morning on Zoom. Good morning. Good morning. I'm excited for the call this morning. Dr. Jen, you had a good birthday weekend? Yeah, it was great. Really good. I love uh, I love my 5-5 five -five timing that I was birthed into this world. It always brings in something <laughs> very interesting around that, that time and numerology and uh, just, I don't know. I always enjoy that day of my that's birthday. Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. What did you do fun? Did you just relax? enjoy relaxed and golfed a little dinner at my at my parents you know they celebrated me nice and I got Aww. showered in lots of different ways from so many people it was very grateful great I, I, I love that oh what about you Donnie do you have a good weekend oh yeah very good yeah uh, well we're gonna have a good week we're gonna have a good week aren't we <laughs> we got a lot to do so yeah. Let's let's jump in, Dr. Jen. I wanted to share you guys. Um, Dr. Jen is incredible, and um, she's on our medical advisory board. And I wanted to just put this up here so you guys can see a little bit about her because it is too much for me to remember. <laughs> but Dr. Jen is a bioenergy chiropractic and a holistic healer. And actually, she's been in practice for over eighteen years. Is that not correct, Dr. Jen? Actually, we just hit our twenty this year so you just hit our 20 oh yeah wow. okay. so probably we gotta, a little uh yeah i gotta update that I guess. we gotta update that yeah so over 20 years and uh she's been instrumental in helping us on our journey and we're excited to have you here at cocoa vita at the very hemp first hemp and wellness club kimmy come on board sister you can you can um and uh, there you go there you go we see you now so dr jen what are we going to be talking about today well, I, I wanted to go into some of the health concepts that maybe are perceived in different kinds of ways that we really get to during these, you know, half hour calls that we're going to consistently have. I, I would like my intention to, to build a, a theme around really understanding your body so that you can go into the, the supplements you need, the exercise you need, the, the mental health, maybe the, the, the breath work, the different things in the elements of our life that you can pull in and know that they are uh, for you, that they're accentuating your body and your health and your mind. Because it's so interesting that, that sometimes through the journey, the things that we really think are helping us aren't necessarily helping us and the things that are hurting us maybe aren't so detrimental. You know, everything, of course, as we know, has to do around habits and the consistency of those habits and, and are they good or bad? And I think I would like to, to start with just the, the general natural law of your body does not accept things as is it good or is it bad? We are a response system. We are a unit of information and energy. So when we put anything into our body, including a mindset, our body is going to respond to that in a particular way. So if we kind of delete that, it's good or bad, but just the fact that my body is going to respond. And sometimes it can be the littlest thing in life and our body is going to over respond. Or sometimes we have those traumas and our body might over respond or under respond yet we already kind of know that that big thing that happened to us i have to become aware of right because it, it's like right in front of my body so it's right in front of my the the world that i live so many times it's these little things on the in between where we get to have a deeper level of body awareness and I'm going to go through maybe what some of those things are in this time frame, but I get to have that deeper body awareness so that I don't have to wait for this big thing to happen in my life that I now have to heal. Yeah. And, and that, that's been so instrumental, like instrumental for me, uh, you know, watching 20 years of people come in and go, I didn't know, like, it, and you kind of go, okay, we're, we're never really taught. Right. how the body functions, how it, it functions in a, in a moment of creating a chemical or not creating a chemical or creating an energy or not. So 
not that we have to really know all that, but if we think about our, our self in a cycle, like we are in a constant cycle every single day, and are we doing that same cycle, creating the same information that is allowing our body to have an experience? Are, do we love it or do, do we hate it? <laughs> are we in joy or are we kind of like, I just can't wait till this next moment or when I get home from work, I, you know, I'm not in that passion. Uh, my muscles are tight in, in my neck and it's no big deal because it's not heavy disease, but I always have this, you know, tightness here. I never can get a deep breath in like all of these things that are really telling your body on a consistent level that you're not safe on a consistent level that you're not in healing. So we have these two avenues that our body plays. So one is of rest and rejuvenation, detoxification, and this is where healing happens. That's our parasympathetic nervous system. And then we have this other road, which is our, our stress system and that, that thing that makes our body work in a way. You know, they're both functions of making our body work, but we don't heal in that oversympathetic mode. So, but we need them both, right? So we're coming into how do I find the harmony where I don't necessarily have my foot on the gas and the brake at the same time? So when I'm in healing and I'm in that, that parasympathetic de-stress mode that I know that I know that I'm healing and I'm giving my, my body the time to do it. And that when I'm in stress, I'm not thinking we have a perception that stress means this big thing this that that tragedy that trauma or my life isn't as bad as this other person's right <laughs> so, right. Uh -huh. so we're like in this this idea every I, I mean nine out of ten patients that come into my office they go but I'm not in stress Dr. Jen like I'm fine today and I'm like yeah but you got a migraine your your neck hurts you're in some level of of depression you're like you're here because you're in survival yeah but that's not really stress right yet stress and we get to have a reidentification of that is just anything that we put into the body that our body has to respond to anything even the best things in the world right i put water in my body has to respond to it I put a cheeseburger in, my body has to respond to it. I put in a supplement, my body has to respond to it. And, and sometimes the information on the inside has to do with where my level of mentality is. So do you love it? Are you thinking good thoughts first? Are you knowing and feeling that you, you love what you're eating is going to make more of a determination than actually what's going on into you or what's going into your body, ironically. And that's kind of interesting as well. Right. Or if we're in silence, but we continue to think about what I think is going to happen. Like I'm not in the present moment. Oh, this might happen in the future. What if I don't have enough of this? Or, you know, how is my body functioning? What about my family? Uh, do I have enough money? Do I, you know, all of this enough, enough, do I? Recurring thoughts in our mind are actually creating the same trauma and traumatic effect of inflammation and high cortisol and high insulin just because of my thoughts, my silent thoughts in my body. Now that's how amazing our system is. So when we think about that we are the core of this entire process that's going on, energetically, we are this information, this cosmic cycle of information. We can even go all the way out there, right? You're, you're made from a realm of infinite knowledge, purpose, wisdom. Right. That is within your body, that message inside your body knows how to heal itself. We are an automatic regenerator. We are automatic electricity. We're automatic magnetism. So we already have this process going on in our body, but yet we always don't feel as well as we could. We're not, maybe not accessing that natural state of abundance that we already are. Well, why not? Right. So there's either something interfering with this natural cycle uh -huh. or we haven't put enough in of something to help boost the natural cycle. So we really have to look at how have I interfered with myself through my lifetime? And that can be overwhelming. <laughs> this is like <laughs> through my lifetime. Are you serious? 
but it's giving us information. What if as a child, every year you got the flu, every year you had bronchitis, every year you needed a, an antibiotic or, or what have you, and not right or wrong about that, but what's your cycle? It's gonna tell you a lot about the information in your body, how high or how low your immune system is, how well you deal with functioning, because we're all different, right? Can I deal with one more impact of a toxin or not? Or then do I have an immediate allergy? Do I have an, an immediate, um, I don't know, weight gain or pain or, or depression? Like it's all, it's all really the same, right? So I have to kind of look at my entire life and say, how has my body dealt with my life? How have I felt? What are other things that I've had to use through time to, to help me be okay? You know, have I gone more down a medical route? Have I go, gone more down a nutritional route or a naturopath route? Because that's going to tell us what the consistency of our body can handle. Like, how am I building that foundation? How am I building the terrain in my immune system and in, in, in my gut to brain connection? How am I building or even able to be in my body, in my heart, in my soul? Like all of these different levels and areas of consciousness that we are like, can I even get in there or am I in just too much pain? You know, whatever pain is to us. So we get to look at some of these different realms of what can interfere. Well, right now we can go into a lot of different things, right? We, we can look at our food process and say, right. of course, it's, if it's, if it's fake and it's going in our body, it's going to block us from our natural innate ability to heal. So genetically modified foods, things that are not organic, you know, if we're doing over an abundance of medication, over abundance of shots, over abundance of all these things, that's putting again, information into the body. And now our system has to respond to that. So information from the outside body responds and it responds chemically because we are in charge of what's coming in, right? Nutritionally. Is it good for me nutritionally? Is, is it what, but that's the deeper part of the awareness. We could say, well, this has been told it's great for me, but is it great for you? <laughs> you sure. have to start getting that feeling. What, what feels right for me? Because there's, there's so many, there's infinite amount of things that we could choose from, right? Am I hydrated? And then having the awareness that there's chemicals in the water, there's chemicals in our minerals, there's chemicals in our air. I mean, we're being bombarded from yeah. all over the place. Every single space in our, in our world, we're being bombarded from. Right. 10 to 15 years ago, we didn't have to worry about that. Our body could regulate itself from the heavy metals, from the, the toxins in our, our, our pans that we used to cook with and, and some of the different foods that weren't 100% natural. Right. But now it's just everywhere. So we really have to have an understanding of where is that deeper awareness in my body? How do I feel? What, you know, am I clear? Am I grounded? Do I feel myself am I, in my system? Am I, how tight am I? How much, how, how often do I complain of whatever it is for me? The acid reflux, the arthritis, the, the, the anxiety, the depression, they're all different levels and scales of how much toxicity or how much we'll say impurity is resisting our innate intelligence to actually come in and heal. So, so Dr. John, what do you do with, if, if somebody like is hearing you and they're really sick and where do they even start? Well, the, the, probably one of the biggest spaces in, in the, the most simplicity, I mean, we can take it into you know, let's, let's look at a scale of health, right? And where do we really feel like we fall in that? And in, in looking at these categories, right? Job, relationship, environment, um, you know, investing in my nutrition, investing in good water and, and right. investing in energy healing and, and all that things. And it sounds like a lot, but it's you. It, it's why you're here. You're here to actually, you know, have a stance in how your body works and moving through that. Of course, if we let it get to it, you know, off the tip of something, so to speak, you know, we're, we're in a dis-ease process that can look a little bit, um, you know, we might need some extra support there, right? 
but the easiest thing that we can do outside of something is, is literally nothing, <laughs> you know? And so I say that in that way, because the way we get to resting where our body gets to heal is in the amount of time that we let our body rest. So that detoxification process, that that not doing anything to the body versus maybe some good water and letting the system in the innate cycle actually reset and then moving the body into, uh, you know, maybe 12 hours of a reset into 13 or 14 or 15 or 16 hours of a reset where you're just not doing anything, but letting the system do what it needs to do because you are negating as many impurities as you can during that time. And then you get to fuel your body with the good things that Coca Vita offers that, that we go over on, on uh, you know, things to eat and how to nourish and then what that can look like to then actually support your body right. so that you're feeding it what it needs to feed. So, you know, we get to look at those two different lines, you know, are we in stress? Yes, of course, because everything is stress. Well, is stress good or bad? It's irrelevant. It's just a stimulus from the body. So how do you help in cycles where possibly you feel not well or diseased or, or maybe it's more severe than, than that? Maybe it's an imprinted disease that you've been struggling with. Well, we get to let the body rest. And I guarantee you, well, well, I'll probably say 10 out of 10, but we'll give us nine out of 10 people. We never really let our body rest. We never get into that because we're in our mind, right? right about the fear about it. Right. We get to be trained on some level. We should be in training our entire life, but the, the training really is, you know, how do you bring the breath down? How do you bring the energy down into the belly? Allow your system to be in that relaxation, which is that healing the parasympathetic mode out of the head into the body and just allowing the system to do what it's supposed to do, which is heal. And then how do we feed in those other times? It's going to give you a deeper body awareness so that you have an idea of how to really start your life and, and impact your life on that level, because that's what we're not doing. And then we think it has to be this, this huge symptom like I was saying before, right. it has to be, you know, I need to get to the doctor. I, I need to get to the chiropractor. I need, and it's like, you've already been in that cycle for, for years on end. And now we have to change the cycle so that you can get out of the, that information of the response and allow the body to flourish as it was naturally made to do. Right. So we get to take out those elements and then add new elements and some you know, we don't really have, um, you know, they're, they're coming in no matter what. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, it, that's how much more uh, aware though we get to be of our body. Right. So that, you know, we can, we can have a, a deeper essence of just saying, I'm not really breathing deep today. Or again, I have pain here. I have soreness here. My mind's not right. Like these are all little ideas of symptoms saying you got to change you got to change something before because it's right. all the same energy it's just either you're going to be more electrically depleted and it's going to go to more a more severe state you know or you're going to have the body awareness that gets to shift the information if that makes sense it I mean, makes perfect sense make so sense. i have a question um for those watching so when you say letting the body rest are you saying like you know, like we shouldn't be putting anything in our body for a certain amount of time, except water. Like when we go to bed, let our body rest, you know, give it some time to reset. Yeah. So there's, there's a couple different ways to look at that. First of all, I think the very first model is, um, once you can get an idea, even if you did like on a scale of one to 10, like how is my body overall feeling? Like I was saying before, what else have I had to deal with in my lifetime, you know, that may or may not, you know, give me a couple of extra points on my model of health, you know, where am I at now? How do I invest in, in my nutrition and my health and, and, and all those different kinds of things, right? But most people 
well, again, have an idea like exercise, for instance, everyone's like exercise is really healthy, for example. And so everybody goes out there and in their possibility to rest or to create health, they go out and they, you know, run three miles or they do this or they do that. And they're just overloading their body into stress, right? When they're not even at a foundation yet that it would be healthy for them. So, you know, you're like asking the question, am I healthy enough to exercise? Am I healthy enough to even take, you know, uh, lots of supplements or whatever? Your body has to overreact to that. So we have to determine where our foundation is to know how long I I actually need to allow my body to, to rest, to reset, to fuel my body, and then to make that type of exercise healthy or that type of work or that it this is what i'm saying like it's that balance process in how the how the system is responding but only you really know that when you're connected to your deeper awareness not just like a superficial you know i i got a punch in the gut obviously i'm aware of that or i have something more severe going on so resting on a physiological or nutritional level yes may mean um, you know, allowing your body to not put anything in, because if you put food in the body, um, or something other than, than water or, or, you know, coffee or what have you, your, your level spike, right? Your insulin spikes, your cortisol spikes, even if it's a really good thing, a clean eater, whatever, right. You're still going to have that reaction. So, you know, in, in my forties that I'm just turned 45, you have to let your body rest a little bit longer because you've taken in more through your lifetime, right? You have more, you have 60,000 particles of DNA uh, refiguring every single day in a malfunctioned way. And so, you know, you're, you're basically allowing that, that rest so that the body can kick in its natural healing abilities, take, take away all the crap in our blood, as we call it, you know, eat away at, at cells are, that are not uh, replicating properly. And then we start fueling our body again. So that could be 12 hours. It could be 14. It could be 16. I mean, I'm, I'm like alluding to like an intermittent fasting, but, right. but it's more than that too. I mean, that's just on a physiological level. Now we're talking about also you know, where are you? Are you present in your body? I mean, that's the biggest thing. Everyone says, oh, that's no big deal. That's the only way that you can be down in, in your body in in your system, in your rootedness of you so that the, the natural healing ability can even kick in. Or are you worried about everything? Are you rolling around? Do you have any idea, you know, what's happening next? Like I was working with this lady um, and <laughs> she was having these really annoying things that should have been fixed and they just weren't. And it just, you know, of course was bugging me and annoying me. And um, what it came down to the fact was that she was getting up every morning at five 30 in the morning to go work out because that's the only time she had with her kids and in that the cycle of her life, which gives you a lot of information. Right. right. But it really wasn't, it in her best interest, she was depleting herself to such an aspect where she couldn't really function the rest of the day. And it was, but it was part of her cycle. So it's just, you just shift the cycle. doesn't mean you take it out of her life, right. but you have her have a little bit more of, um, self-love, <laughs> you know, switching, yeah. switching your idea around. Um, you know, you, you, the things that you think might not be it. You really have to take that part of your, your deeper awareness. Um, you know, I had someone with migraines the other day, like five to seven a day. She was like, oh, they don't think it's a big deal. I'm like, that's a big deal. I mean, that's oxygen, blood flow. A lot could happen to your brain. Um, Well, I've been everywhere and, you know, I'm healthy and I'm fit and, you know, and, you know, the simple thing. So, well, I'm hydrated. She keeps telling me I'm hydrated. I'm hydrated. And I kind of take a peek at her water and I'm like, what kind of water is that? Oh, it's tap water. And I'm like, so your clean idea of healthy eating is a gallon of tap water every day. I'm like, no wonder why that's metals, that's fluoride, that's how many, you know, pharmaceutical drugs that people pee out. And then we put in our body. I was like, that's oh a gallon God. of toxicity you're putting 
and you've tried all the medications and you've tried all the things to get rid of these, just stop drinking tap water. You know, it's, but that was her good thing up here. Right. 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 It, but it was stressing her body out to such a degree. Right. Because it had to input all of those toxins. So I just mentioned that again, some things are so obvious. Some things are not. Yes. But stop stressing or stop judging the stress. Um, yours isn't too high or too low. If your body thinks that it has to respond, it, it's like as if you have a bear chasing you and there's no bear. Your body has to run like that. You know, look into and, and we'll go deeper into some of these things, but it's just take the time. How well am I sleeping? How good does my body feel? Where is my mentality? Yeah. Um, you know, what do I keep recurring in my mind? How is my energy? And what am I doing to invest in myself around that? Um, the, the other peeve around that is people tell me I'm taking my minerals and I'm taking my, and they're not good brands. They're, yeah. they're, they're going to get, you know, just the arterial um, issues that happen around that kidney stones, all kinds of things, because you don't have a proper brand yet. You're putting this stuff in your, your body. That's a toxin. That's a toxicity, right? All of these things. Well, we do that every single day. What are you consistent with that you're doing every single day, but yet you're still having this health or dis-ease outcome. And, and just know that you are the center of, of your world and you are that response unit. However right. you want to choose it, if it's not going well for you, change the cycle. Um, even if it's just something in your day and also ask how, am I healthy enough yet to exercise this way? What does my eating look like? Does it feel, does it feel good in my body? Uh, you know, where is my process around that? How do I get to, to shift and change my life? So my, my healing method and model uh, can get out of that survival and more into a, a creative stance of who I am. Um, and we get, we get to teach that. Um, unfortunately, we're never really taught how our body works. We're just, yeah. we think we're supposed to be healthy and it's not really true. We're just right. a response unit. That's what we are. Right. I love Dr. Jen. This was incredible. I didn't talk much because I was writing notes and listening to what you said, but it was just amazing. And I love this because Cocoa Vida, our mission is bringing humanity back to nature. And with being the first hemp and wellness club, we want to bring awareness to, you know, what are you using? What are the products you're using on your body? What are the products you're using in your home and be that brand that makes the difference. So, um, mm -hmm. I, I appreciate you today. This was incredible guys. We're going to hop off here and then we're going to have the laser call. You're not going to want to miss that. Dr. Jen's going to be talking about the laser as well. So we'll see you guys here just in a minute. Thank you, Dr. Jen. You're welcome.